that. So first off, we're gonna get a platform built. So we wanna come over to our stunt building blocks. The largest ones are what you want. So the 28 by 48s here. Doesn't matter what color. I'm gonna go with gray, just try and get more of a indoor stadium type of feel for it. So I'm gonna start by placing it. You wanna make sure that your prop stacking is on. Prop snapping also on, but you wanna go to your advanced options before you ever place the prop. Override your rotation, then override your position. Go back to your rotation. Just hover around these. You don't need to change any of these. Go back to your position. Put it to local. And look for your scene. Obviously, things might change, so um, you want to make sure that your rotation is set to local, otherwise, it won't appear at first. Forgot to mention that, but now you can go back to moving it. You want to get up on your scene and you want to watch it as it gets closer. You'll uh, start to see black dots, black lines, something like that. You want to go until they're just not visible. And you want to do this under fine adjust. This just eliminates anything that can alter the cars if you're building on it. Using any part of it that might pop up through the track, etc, etc. And you want to repeat that for the size of the plot that you need. Obviously we're not going to be needing a lot, so I'm going to put down about three more after this one. And we'll get to work on the surface sometimes if the sun appears on one side and doesn't cast a shadow it can alter that too so just keep an eye out for that. It makes it easier to see if you got it on the side where the shadow is. So there we're fine. So put down another one. This would also be the first GTA video I've made in a while, so, uh, yeah. I've been focusing a lot on World of Outlaws as far as my YouTube page goes. But, uh, I am making a little bit of a return to GTA for track creation and stuff, so... I have updated some things. I just updated San Chianski, a couple other tracks I went through and fixed. Alright, so now that we've got our plot here, pretty decent size, large, big enough to build a short track at. So, get to work on our template, which is what we're going to need next. You want to make sure you're on world heading for your rotation type. And then you want to go to stunt track wide. If I can find that. Wide straight is what you want. I probably already went past it, but yep, there we are doesn't matter what color I just normally go with white uh, then you want to go to your position override that and lower it quite a bit 
you're not gonna need the bottom section of that just the top that's where you're driving at anyway so next you want to go to your Y value that'll give you your banking depends if you wanna just go by what you see right now or if you just wanna go by the actual numbers so right now I'm gonna go with uh, five degrees of banking so 355 you give it an extra five is 360 you recess to zero or whatever so that's our five degrees of banking we're gonna go to our position and we're gonna lower it down this is gonna be for the corners so that's what we need the template for wanna lower it down till that inner rumble strip is no longer present you don't wanna see it you wanna see the asphalt and the top rumble strip we'll get rid of that as we put in the walls so this is gonna be your racing surface you can obviously make it a little bit more narrow by sinking it in you can make it as wide as possible by going until it's just out of view and then you want to sink it just a little bit extra just to make sure that it has no effect even though it's technically ghosted at this point uh, we're gonna go a little bit lower to make it a little bit more narrow so right about there looks fine after that you want to go and find your walls so right here we've got the concrete walls I don't really use those all that often I can but for this track I want to use the guide rails so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it here back out of that see if it helps didn't really do much but uh you wanna there we go okay so you wanna go until it's just tilting inward because it's against the uh guide or the uh bumper I guess or curb or whatever make sure your prop stacking's on obviously and then you wanna go to advanced options go to your rotation first and then your position so now you can see it's rotated a little bit more than the prop itself the uh, prop it's sitting on it's not truly a 90 it's just a little bit more it's probably all you'll need then you want to take your position go inward just a little bit just to get rid of that white line sink it down as far as you want to you can keep it all three rails and just sink it so that you can't see the wooden posts down at the bottom I usually go to about two posts because that's a pretty or two rails that's a pretty comfortable ground but you should be warned if you're going with one rail you will run the risk of cars going over the wall so try to keep it around two two to three should be fine that's good for our corner prop so next we need our pivot point which we'll go with the old trusty cabin uh, we'll go with the tighter track so we'll just put it kinda close if you want a longer pivot point you're gonna have wider turns obviously so we're going kinda close here just building the short track and then we'll go back to our building blocks we don't need the largest one anymore just one that reaches so this one would be perfect doesn't matter what color you can keep it red if you really want to it's just a point that connects the cabin to your corner and your wall that's all you need it for 
you're going to delete the cabin and the uh, connector piece as you're doing the template. So just try not to uh, worry too much about the color of this thing here. Cabin you will need to place first. Otherwise it will be sitting on top of this piece and effectively it will lower these two props into this prop and this prop won't be very present for that prop once you select your prop you want to make sure that you select the cabin first then your connector and then whatever props are connected to those save your template whatever you want I'm just gonna put down corner you gotta back out pretty far but once you get there you go back to your props turn your prop stacking off delete everything from the first template that you made now you've got this template you can place it down wherever you want it places down four props at a time so you want to be mindful of that and remember your prop count down in the bottom right you do have a limited space to work with unfortunately but we should be okay with this <laughs> next I'm gonna figure out if I want one with long straights short straights etc I think uh, I think we'll go with a uh, medium length kind of straight stretch so right here I will start. You don't want to go a full 180 with these because you do want to leave room for your transitions if you have any. I probably will not use any transitions. I'll just keep it 5 degrees all the way around. But uh yeah, we'll we'll start by laying out our first corner. So I'm going to start over here. It's not going to be a true 90 to any grid. Then you want to delete your cabin and your connector piece. Then you want to rotate it a little bit. I usually go by the red and the white on the outer curb. And I will put two red blocks ahead and the third red block I will match up with the old prop that typ typically keeps it pretty smooth and uh, it's a good middle ground for a lot of things so you can see I'm doing that right now I'm going to back up so that I can see that a little bit more. You don't have to be exact. I just like to be so that it's a little bit easier on me. I know there's not going to be a bump or something somewhere. So you just want to keep laying this out, placing it down, deleting your two props, and then uh, rotating it after that. So yeah, we're going to keep this one a little bit more simple. Short track. Uh, straights are going to be 5 degrees as well. And we're coming in on our last prop here. 
for this corner. I think this last prop that I just placed down will be it. So now you can see the corner is laid out. It's very smooth, very wide. And uh, take your car up here against this wall. You can see just how smooth it really is. Now you want to lay down your straights. So now we're going to come to props. Probably one of the best props to use would be under stunt set pieces. And you want to go to your stunt plane runway. Next, you want to choose your color. Doesn't matter. Rotation, position. And then you want to rotate it. We're going to five degrees like normal. And now we'll come down here for when we're altering the position itself. So now I can see it's a little bit weird for the angle. So what I'm going to do is come to rotation, switch this to world, and then we'll go to the Z. That will rotate it on the up and down axis so we can rotate it like this I'm gonna rotate it about there go back to our position or we want to switch this back to local first then go back to your position and we will move it backward a little bit about there sink it down in now you can see that it's starting to sink into the next prop it's what we want we want it right about there now we want to move it left and right we want to kind of line up the upper curb with the other prop that'll help out with placing down the walls and right there is a good spot we're not going to use every bit of this prop here but we do have a lot to work with if we want to now we can do the same thing over here we could probably even snap it together if we wanted to so right there we could snap it together I don't necessarily want to I want to snap it together with this stunt runway so that we can uh, so that we can work on a similar axis as far as keeping the straights parallel so now that we've got a rotation our position locked we want to start moving the props so that they're true with each other so this will take a little bit because it is a large prop helps if you use the fast adjust which is the triangle button that you hold while adjusting doesn't need to be exact I know I've said that before but there are some creators that get a little bit more anal about things like that I'm not that way next you want to come back to your rotation and you want to reverse this by 10 degrees so now instead of being at 5 degrees positive you want to go to 355 degrees positive just like that and you want to come back to your position go to world and you want to move it the other way world just makes it easier because it moves the entire prop without moving it on its own axis but on the world's axis this is almost perfect I'm gonna push it out this way just a little bit we'll go back to local and we'll bring it toward the camera And right there you can see it's starting to go into the corner props that's what you want 
So now we've got one of our corners and we've got our straights. Now we can come back to our template with our corner prop. Sink it back down onto our platform. And we can decide how long we want the straights to be. I'm thinking right about here is where we're going to go. You can rotate it just to make sure that it's going to hit both straights almost equally. I'm going to move it this way just a little bit. And I'm going to rotate it back this way to make sure it didn't affect this too much. And it looks like it didn't, so I'm going to start placing down the props. Obviously you can zoom in without ever having to move the prop, so I'm going to do that just to make it a little bit easier to see. And I'm doing the same thing here, lining up the third red block with the end red block on the old prop. When placing down your track pieces like this with the wall attached, it makes things a lot easier on you, the creator, because now you are placing down the wall and the track. You're doing two things at once, and you don't have to worry about the corners near as much as you will the straights. Obviously, this does pose the question of wall riding or chastaining it as some may call it now uh... i think i'm gonna leave that open to interpretation if anybody wants to try it here i don't really mind it that much and uh... finish off this corner here a little bit hard to see the end of the the uh, curb but should be okay if you just kind of equalize the distance between your stripes if you decide to go with the uh, center of your prop piece you can obviously move it left or right so that you can get the darker or the lighter shade of asphalt keep it the same shade or have darker corners whatever you like I'm just going with this Go with a little middle ground. And uh, we'll get a better car to test this with. I really don't like testing with that car, so. Go with uh, one of the more finicky muscle cars. We'll go with the Hellfire. Just to make sure it works out well. Got a decent amount of straight. The corners are pretty comfortable. And there you have it. That is the track that we just made.